first race is start here. So it's a 381 kilometers mile from here, from Auckland to. So, yeah, so waiting and waiting and waiting. So I still have one more hour to go. Lucky I passed the scan for today and ready to go now. Yeah, here we go. I'm here in the airport. And, uh, Welcome to my another journey. My happy feet will strike again soon. But before that, let's bring back the memories and excitement in my previous journey. Welcome to Sydney, Australia. As I remember, before I moved to New Zealand, Australia is my first ever traveled country when I was in the Philippines, particularly in Perth, Western Australia, as it was 2001. When I saw the country, oh my god, I feel in love in the place and bigla kong na-realize that there is another dimension and destination outside the Philippines. No traffic, the system is so amazing, and kung yung ambience ang pag-uusapan, amazing talaga. Kaya naman, I pursued to move to Australia, but unfortunately, it was so hard for me to produce enough funding to support myself going to Australia. So, to make the long story short, here I am now visiting one of the best destinations for me to chill, relax, and enjoy. Okay na din because it's just one fly away from Auckland. And 4 hours flight and it was so easy to visit the place. Ito lang ang masabi ko. My first day is freaking Amazing.
Welcome to Opera House! Isa ito sa landmark when you're visiting Sydney. Because of its infrastructure, siya lang ang may ganitong structure sa buong mundo na sail-like design. It is a multi-venue performing arts center at Sydney Harbour. Isa ito sa may tuturing na 20th century's most famous and distinctive building na disenyo ng isang Danish architect. And his name is Born Otson. And it was formally opened on the 20th of October 1973. And noong 28th of June 2007, this building, Sydney Opera House, became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ang galing, di ba? And isa lang masabi ko again, amazing. The Sydney Opera House has a number of performance venues. One, concert hall na may malihigit na 2,500 seat capacity. Two, John Sutter Lanchetter na may malihigit na 1,500 seat capacity for Australian Ballet. Three, Drama Theater na may malihigit na 500 seats capacity. Number four, Playhouse na may 400 capacity seats. Number five, Studio na may 400 seats capacity. Number six, Austin Room, na a small multi-purpose venue for parties, corporate functions of a small production. Number seven, recording studio. And finally, number eight, outdoor park court, a flexible open-air venue for community events and major outdoor performances. And syempre, katabilang nito ay ang Royal Botanic Garden na may 30 hectare ang laki. And finally, welcome to Sydney Harbour Bridge. This connects the Sydney Central Business District or CBD and North Shore across Sydney Harbour. The same here in Auckland, wherein we have Auckland Harbour, a Harbour Bridge and a co-connect sa Auckland North Shore at City Centre. One thing that I love most while walking here in Harbour Bridge is yung view ng Opera House mismo. Ang ganda at ang, ang sarap magmuni-muni habang naglalakad sa bridge nito. And again, isa lang ulit ang masasabi ko. Amazing! And this one, meron isang upper deck na pag pumunta ka sa pinama, pinakamataas, mabubuyo mo talaga yung ganda nung mismong city. Kaso, ang problema, may bayad palang 10 new, uh, Australian dollar. So, nagtsaga na lang ako sa labas kasi pareho rin lang, rin lang naman ang makikita mo. So, sulit na tipid pa. Alam mo naman, pag traveler ka, kailangan tipid-tipid din pag may time. Well, anyway guys, this is the long uh, one day for me. Actually, hindi siya one day. Meron pang susunod na part ng uh, journey ko. But this is amazing and wonderful experiences uh, na I can treasure in Sydney, Australia. Sa susunod ulit. And salamat sa pagpapanood uh, sa akin. Salamat po. <music>